hello everyone this is the tutorial about shatter effect how we can shatter any object in maya okay let's get started first of all we will create a plane so i will create a plane and resize it through scale tool now little bit pick it up okay the next thing we will create a cube now we will drag it up little bit just this one little bit up okay this is enough okay now we will just scale it little bit more just like that okay done the next thing we will do history delete of this object now we'll go to edit and just delete by type history now we'll uh, now we will apply shatter effect on this object go to fx mode this is already on and now select the menu with effect and then shatter we'll click here and then we will reset this setting now the main objective of this dialog box will go to solid shatter we will create amount of this 10 okay now just little bit i will increase this value near about 1000 okay and here you go shapes we will change it to rigid body with collision of now next thing we will check it triangle it and apply interior material okay and now this is important thing we can delete original surface it means this object original surface will be delete after checking this so I will delete it and now I will create this effect there you go it will show after applying set shatter effect okay now we will go to field and just give it to gravity we will we have given it gravity okay the next thing we have to do select the plane by object mode not face mode if you will select face mode it will see just like uh, sky blue lines but when we will enable object mode then it will show just green and when we will apply rigid body on this plane it should be selected by object mode okay here you go and then go to field solver and create passive rigid body now we can check passive rigid body here rigid body you can see it here now I will drag it and give it collision layer to minus one value minus one and that's it okay again 
once again we will select this object and give it gravity again and now we will check I am giving segment range ok give frames range and segment range ok 180 now we will check the animation after sector this one and it will divide it into small pieces now it is looking quite well so this is the end of this segment now you can follow the same process and you can do the thing like this okay thank you